Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple Python program to add two numbers that are entered by the user. This is a program for the absolute beginners. And what we have to do in this program is first, we have to ask the user to enter two numbers. We have to store them in the variables and then we can perform the addition operation on the two numbers and then we can display the result. So whenever we have to take the user input in Python programming language, a function is available and it is called as the input function. This function provides the functionality of displaying a message to the user before taking the user input. For example, here I can specify the message that I want to display to the user so that he can understand what type of uh, input the the program is expecting and according to that he can enter the value so in this case what i want to do is i want to ask the user to enter a number for the addition operation so here i'm gonna say enter number one and then i will uh, use this column and format this message so now if i save this program and if i run this what happens the program will display the message like this enter number one so here the user can enter the value for example i can enter 10 here so this input function will return whatever the value that the user will enter so what we can do is we can store it in a variable so we will say num1 now there is a small problem here since the program is about adding the numbers. You know, we are working with the numbers. This input function returns the user input as a string value. It will not return in number format. It returns that value in string format. In order to show you that, what we can do is we can find the type of the value that is stored in a variable by using the type function. So if I use the print function in here and I want to know the type of the value stored in this num1, then I can use the type function like this. So I can specify that uh, num1 variable name here. So here we want to know the type of the value stored in this num1 variable and then we are displaying that to the screen by using the print function. So now if I save this program and if I run this code, then here, you know, it will say enter number one, I will enter 10.5. And when I hit the enter button, it displays class string. So that is because as I said before, the input function returns the user input as a string value. In this program, we want to work with numbers. So what we have to do is when the input function returns the user input in string format, we have to convert that to number format. In Python, we have the integer type of numbers and floating point type of numbers. I want this program to work for decimal numbers also. And that's why I will convert the user input um, returned by the input function in string form to float type, just like this. And then I will store that in the num1 variable. So here, now if I save this program and if I run this, enter the number one, I will enter 10.5. Now it says the type of the value stored in this num1 variable is float type. It is a number type. So we can work on that. That is what we want for this program. Now I will remove this print function, which is displaying the type of value. So now we have one number that the user has provided. Similarly, we have to ask the user to enter the second number and we have to store it in a separate variable. So I will copy and paste the um, above line of code and I will change the message. Enter number two and I will store that in a separate variable and let's call it as num2. So now we have two numbers that the user has entered. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to perform the addition operation 
on these two numbers so we will perform num1 plus num2 so when we perform the addition operation in here whatever the result is we have to store that result so that we can display it uh, by using a print function so what i will do is i will store the result in a variable and i will call it as result so here we are performing num1 plus num2 whatever the result that we get we are storing that in this result variable now the next thing that we can do is we can display the um, output of this program so we can use the print function in here and you know there are many different ways we you know we can display the result for example we can just display the value present in this result variable by specifying result here so if i save this program and if i run this and this time i'm going to enter 10.4 and then i will press the enter button in my keyboard now it asks for the number 2 i will enter 22.4 and then i will press the enter button in my keyboard now it just displays the sum of the um, these two numbers so we get 32.8 now if you want you can format the way you are displaying the result here for example let us say if i am entering 10 and 20 for num1 and num2 then you can display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. in order to do that what we do is we will use the f string to format the uh, string so here we can uh, use the value present in this num variable so we will use the um, curly braces like this we can specify num1 and then we will uh, uh, insert plus and then we will display the value present in this num2 variable and then we will use equal to and then we will use the value present in this result variable so now we can save this program and we can run this now here I'm going to enter 10.4 for num1 for number 2 I'm going to enter 27.7 now if I hit the enter button you know we will get the message like this so 10.4 plus 27.7 is 38.1 now one last thing that we're going to see in this particular tutorial is here we are using this result variable and this program is only about you know performing num1 plus num2 and displaying the result so just because of that we don't actually need this result variable because um, we only need the uh, sum of num1 plus num2 while displaying it other than that we don't need it so that's why i will comment this code where we are using the result and then what i will do is here in place of this result i will perform num1 plus num2 so it will be num1 plus num2 i'm using the parenthesis to group this calculation so now we have written this program without using the result variable so now if i save this program and if i run this i'm gonna enter 10.4 for num1 and 27.7 for num2 then we're gonna get 38.1 so we have uh, got rid of the result variable also so this is it guys for this video this is how you can write a very simple program to add two numbers i want you to experiment with this code you know if you write more code then you will learn so i want you to modify this program and i want you to perform a subtraction multiplication and division operations so post your code in the comment section if you face any problems then i'll try to help so uh, that's it guys for this video thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next one